built-in bookcases right there. Guest logs with a automatic start. This is like my favorite thing right here. Magic. Ha! There's fire. A lot more comfortable in these cold days than it was back in August when they put it in. And we're heading into, well, let's do Bob's study, and then we'll wrap through. Said, back to the Narnia closet. Bob's study, smaller than what he's used to, but he has one ginormous closet right here. Sorry about this. Huge bookcases. This is where the last owner had her washer, dryer, stackable things. Ah, going into the kitchen. Pretty pocket door that I'm not going to try to close. The kitchen is close to being done. There's the little light that we added. Uh, kept the cabinets, kept the configuration, uh, switched out to stainless steel, changed out the handles, and definitely got rid of all the yellow. The entire interior of the house was a pale yellow. Uh, and the cabinets in here were green for mica. Yeah. So there's the refrigerator door in door. My gas range. Yeah, Richard, gas. I'm cooking with gas again. Got a griddle in the middle. So basically five eyes. There's our little table and chairs. Travis, as he is going blind, is having a few issues with the uh, ghost chairs because he can't see them. Looking out back, there's our little garage, which you can see right through there, driveway. I'll show you, oh yeah, this is Bob's favorite. Porch, messy. It's currently gathering stuff. Next spring, it'll be wonderful. I'll do a update when everything's done. Travis has his own little fenced in backyard, which he still wants to walk. Ah, this is, excuse me, I gotta get something out here. Yeah. So Travis still wants these walks, which means he still needs poop bags. Um, this is the attic, which I'm currently using as a pantry and coat closet. It will be a coat closet and door storage. Full attic. I'm not taking it up there. It's cold up there. Too much. This will be the dining room as soon as we find it from under all the stuff. And there's a lot of stuff. I'll come back to that door in a minute because that's another tour on its own. Bathroom, previously known as the floral explosion, and now it's just a nice, quiet, geometric pattern. Linen closet, little bitty, which is dark. Uh, light to be added here. Bedroom, coming together. Coming together, we've got rugs to come. All the floors are original. Uh, getting it set up. This used to be the small door to a closet right here and on the other side was another small bedroom with another very small closet but that was because people in 1951 didn't have that many clothes I guess. Um, we turned it into a walk-in closet. My diva closet I'm calling it because yeah that's a chandelier. You see it? Yeah. Chandelier. Lots of shelvings. Built-ins. Work in progress. Gonna get an extra shelf in there. And finally, <laughs> again, it needs work. Sorry. Uh, the bathroom. Uh, glorious. Big shower with Penny round tile. Wish you could see it. There's a little niche in there for shampoo and stuff. 
uh, mirror to be added. Uh, yeah, two nice windows, matching chandelier. And um, yep, there it is. You can look out while you do your thing. So yeah, this is kind of messy. Oh, right here is where the washer dryer ended up. In there. And there's a nice light in there when the light's on. And now we'll go down. That's where the door to this other odd bedroom was, which you're not seeing. Because, yeah. So, here we go. This was to the basement. And eventually, like, right there's going to be my pantry. Step out as we go down. I'm slow. Yeah, kind of watch your head as we go down. Still work to be done. This is this is a work in progress, folks. But we, it was time to move in. So he'll finish. Get it all finished for us. This will be my workout area straight from the foot of the stairs. That window will be replaced, so we've got some good, good natural light coming in. Nice size closet. And uh, then we kind of do this kind of windy thing, which is a little bit fun or not. And French doors leading into what will be the guest bedroom right there. I still haven't figured out all the light switches. So right there will be a guest bedroom with a bed, real bed, good closet and stuff. The uh, hide bed that we had wouldn't fit down the stairs. It was too tight. They couldn't even get it through the first part. But uh, this will be kind of the hangout space. Another fireplace with uh, gas logs that, quite frankly, you could burn a body in. Uh, and the painted brick is going to be replaced with stacked stone. And coming over here, these this is the part that we didn't do. But we've got all these built-in shelves came done. There is, you can see, the um, house is odd in that it is a poured concrete instead of cinder blocks. But yeah, those shelves go all the way down there. And we've got another door down here. So you can get to this end of it. I turn the light. Yeah, here's the switch. It's kind of, you know, coat closet. This side is cinder block. It's a spare toilet and access to the crawl space and stuff like that. So, yeah. Work in progress. Work in progress. There are so many lights that I haven't figured out yet. Okay. This winds its way around. Here's the floor. A bit, a bit of a maze down here, but kind of fun. This will be the bath, small guest bath, lights, vanity, you know, the facilities, and a shower that is in progress. So that's kind of it. I think, oh, yeah, furnace with still more storage. Still more storage. Plenty of good lighting. And uh, we've made our way back to the stairs to go up. And that's it, folks.